Dreallday.com. I want to give y'all a an idea that is relatively simple, but people don't actually do it. That's why it's worth talking about, and it's moving faster between tasks, moving faster from one task to the next task, one job to the next job in order to increase your productivity because almost everybody out there, especially if you're watching a, a video like this one on a channel like this one, you're interested in being more productive, getting more stuff done, um, knocking more things off your to-do list, having more you know, checks, check boxes checked off, a lot of things that you want to achieve and accomplish in your life. And this is a simple thing that you can do that at the same time, even though it's so simple, and even though some people will call it common sense, people like to call stuff common sense after they've been told what it is, a lot of people don't do it. Many people take way too much time in between tasks when they are supposed to be working, and what happens is too much time goes by, and what you could have gotten done in an hour takes an hour and a half. What you could have got done in one day takes two days. What you could have got done in a week takes three weeks. What you could have got done in a month takes three months. Simply because we take too much time in between tasks. Now on a micro level, here's the kind of things I'm talking about. This is like when you're at work. Let's say today I'm at work, I'm working, and I was thinking about this today myself consciously, is that I was finishing recording uh, some new course material and I'm putting this out of my university at work on the game university and I had like three or four modules of recording material left to do and I'm like all right I could probably have all this done by you know maybe over the weekend maybe by uh, Monday is Friday I'm recording this on a Friday so whatever day you see this I could have got this done over the weekend maybe by Monday but I said to myself you know what if I actually move faster in between tasks I finish one module go give me something to drink give me something to eat you know, uh, whatever I got to do real quick and then get right back to it. There's no reason why I can't finish this whole thing today. And actually, while I'm driving right now, I finished the whole thing today. So round of applause for me. I did finish getting this whole thing done today simply because I told myself, let me stop bullshitting and taking too much time in between tasks. And what we do on a micro level is in between doing the tasks, we finish one task and it's almost like we got to give ourselves a little reward for finishing the little thing that we were doing. So what we do is we go play around on our phone, you go talk to somebody, you go hang outside, you go uh, play around with, I don't know, whoever you play with. You basically go do things to waste time when what you could have done, what you should have done is get right to the next thing, whatever that next thing was supposed to be, so that no time got wasted. We waste a whole lot of time these days, and the thing is, the biggest culprit for us wasting time is this thing right here, this smartphone device that we have within arm's reach at all times, because on this device, this device is a time-wasting machine. It could be a productivity machine, it could also be a time-wasting machine, because it gives us plenty of opportunities to waste time by scrolling through feeds that never end, checking messages that don't matter, looking at notifications of things that we don't really need to be notified about, and it allows us to waste time. And before we know it, the whole damn day has gone by, and all we're doing is looking at stuff that does not matter, doesn't do anything for us, is not moving us forward, but it sucked a whole bunch of time out of our days simply because we weren't thinking about it. It became mindless. So even though the device is called a smartphone, what it actually does is make us very stupid because we do things that we know we shouldn't be doing, but we're doing them anyway because it's habitual and it gives us that dopamine hit. Every time you open your phone and you see something new or you get that notification, you get that dopamine hit that makes you feel good, but it doesn't help you do good. This is why we gotta be very conscious about this stuff and you gotta get conscious and intentional about not allowing your time to be wasted, especially by that device. And that's the biggest culprit of all of this. Why is everybody driving so much? The biggest culprit of all of this is letting that device suck time out of your day and out of your life. Can I fit into this parking spot? Let me see if I can fit into this parking spot. I think I can. Like the little engine that could. I think I can, I think I can. Let's see if I can fit into this parking spot right now. I got somewhere else to be in a short period of time. So anyway, hopefully that is useful for all y'all out there. Move faster in between tasks. Stop looking at your damn phone in between tasks. So if you're watching videos right now, watch videos. When you get done watching this video, 
get back to doing some actual goddamn work and stop allowing your time to be wasted by what's on this phone and notifications and updates from people who you don't even know, things that you don't care about and don't even need to know about. Work on your game. And oh yeah, text me, get my daily motivation straight to your phone every day. My number is 305-384-6894. And go to work on your game live, work on your game dot live. Get your ticket to my next live event taking place February 3rd and 4th here in Miami. You want to really stop wasting time, do that. And to get to work with me directly, get access to all my courses, all that stuff, even when I just finished, go to work on your game Work on your game. Dre all day.